What's going on guys? Uh, we're going to go over the attack side of Bartlett University now. Uh, make sure to check out the defense guide, it'll be in the description uh, below. As well as like all the other map guides, I've done for every map at this point now. Um, we'll just take Buck here. Um, for attackers, generally Blackbird's really good for this map just because you can hang off all the windows and basically be invincible. Ash, explosives to clear wires, stuff like that are you know always good. Um, probably take you know buck, buck or sledge is good. Habana, in case there's any reinforcements you want to pop open. Uh, we'll probably spawn over at the festival, probably a bit safer. Uh, sound a bit. Uh. Okay, make sure you don't get spawn peek from this window. It's probably one of the more dangerous spots. We'll go over attacking the rowing museum. It seems to be... Well, we'll follow the same format, I guess, as the defense video. So, um... We'll go, we'll go up here first. We'll attack, uh, the classroom. So, a really nice angle that you can check out is... Right here. So, if they decide not to reinforce these three walls... Uh, this is one of the, like, the best angles that you can get because a lot of people put a double mirror set up here uh, and you could pretty much see everything all the way through sight. You play a blackbeard here, like have Buck come up, Buck this, and just have a blackbeard sit here and be a general pain in the ass. Now, uh, unfortunately with this map being, you know, not having a lot of entrances and being overall pretty poorly designed, uh, it was meant, to, meant for more like... It's not really Ubisoft's fault necessarily, it was meant for PvP, I mean PvE, not PvP, but we get a bunch of drones in, clear this area out, maybe have somebody go through uh, this window, like have somebody posted up on this window watching this flank, uh, have two people droning, one person drop from the hatch, one person come from the window, clear and pinch, come around through here, uh, you can actually buff some pretty nice long angles all the way so you can see like all the way deep down there. Uh, blow up all the wire over here in the hall while your blackbeard's over there kind of covering you. And once you have access to this area and you have control of these pillars, uh, you have pretty free reign. Like blackbeard's making sure there's nobody in these mirrors right here. You can come and grenade out all the wire if there is any. Uh, and if you decide to, you can plant here uh, if you so please, like in this corner or in the doorway like right here. Uh, you can also like ash this open, have somebody play in here, kind of to make sure. You can kind of pinch them, right? So if you take some of those people that were off droning and have one of them go over here and push as a three men, Blackbeard's there, another person here, you can get the bomb down pretty easily over here. Uh, like I said, site's very, 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 very difficult to take. This this map is extremely defender side. I would say it's like eight to one probably like if you're playing a good team it should be like eight to one defenders i mean i think it's less than that overall statistically for ubisoft but it should be eight like eight to one um but yeah so just make sure you're uh you're clearing and you can plan either over there or push through here uh play blackbeard on this window still keep everybody off but the dangerous part is is if somebody's right on this wall with a mirror they could fast peek i mean if none of this is open, then Blackbeard's going to have a tough time seeing this person. He can kill you as you're walking in. That's why I generally recommend to go to this door as a team. So this way you can kill this person and push if they have a mirror here. Now, alternatively, you can take a Twitch and just zap that and just push in and kill them. You know, just a few different options. Uh, just a few different options for you guys. Uh, we'll head over to uh, head over to attack rowing next. All right. We are going to attack uh, the Rowing Museum next. Uh, grab, once again, Buck. Same ops, you could pretty much take Blackberry, like I said. Everywhere on this map's good. You can pretty much take the same set of ops. <coughs> Lots of barb clear, so Buck, Sledge, Ash. <coughs> uh, getting sick. I'm getting sick just playing this map. No, I'm kidding. All right. So, um basic uh basic attack for this map so just like we were going over to get through the hatch and clear we're gonna do the same 
the same style of, uh, of attack over here. So, once again, make sure you don't get peaked. This is one of the safer spawns. There's not as many, like, spots you can get peaked, really. So, if you can, uh, and you're afraid of getting spawn peaked, probably check. Probably spawn there. I'll do a spawn peek out on this, uh, eventually. Hopefully, it's up by the time you're watching this video. And once again, okay, oh, I missed it. Two cams. Uh, so you have a person on the window over there. Basically, this this point right here in the Rolling Museum is the main the main point you're gonna want to go over. If you can get the battery off of right here, or if it's soft, buck it out and habana it. This a person can't sit close over here. But this also exposes you to a bunch of long angles while dropping. So you want to have like a blackbeard on that window over there. But basically, drone it out, drop, get ready to fight, uh, blow up all the wire obviously if there is any here, and just push. Push in and just take sight control. Uh, this map's a lot of just winning gunfights essentially on attack because the defenders have such an advantageous position against you because you have to either swing into a window, uh, hop. Well, okay, so your options, your your three points of entrance is a front door, which is, I don't know, there's generally people roaming. You can try to go through it if you want to and make a push up these stairs and stuff like that and go around. But at that point, you're at the hatch anyway, just right where you were before but with the risk of getting flanked and killed by roamers. So if you if you end up, uh, if you wanna go through, if you're gonna go through somewhere, you should probably try to take up top through like this window or something. Come through, through I guess it's compass hallway technically. I just call it pillars. Uh, and you like fuck out these walls, try to see if there's anybody in here and get control of this office while your teammates drop and then you can kind of pinch, pinch in while there's like a blackbeard on that window or one over here. Uh, or whatever an ash anybody it doesn't have to be a blackbeard, but obviously being able to take headshots is a pretty nice ability So pretty easy um, Good spots to plan as well if you can plan over here generally pretty nice or if you can plant like right here is even better Because then your blackbeard can watch post plant super easy and so could the rest of your team everyone jumps outside watches the one spot so uh, Just uh, just some ideas for you guys and uh, always shoot this window out too, even if you don't plan on using it. There's a lot of nice angles uh, that you can get on this window. If you sit like up here, you can kind of you can see actually all the way down the stairs. You can lay down, see close to the window. Uh, you can repel. You can repel right here. See pretty deep in the sight. You can. Open up the spot in the wall, see deep into the, like, you know, in between the cabinets over there. Or you can repel directly on it with Blackbeard, that works too. But this window's pretty, like, there's not a lot of windows on this, this site particularly. Like, there's a lot of windows on the map, but most of them are solid steel. So you have to take advantage of what you have to try to make plays through this hatch. So, um, yeah, that's about it for the site. We will, uh, we will head over to the, uh, the classroom downstairs. All right, we are headed over to the classroom now for attack. Uh, same ops again. You can just you pretty much want lots of barb clear and probably blackbeard, Havana. like Havana, blackbeard, rest of them barb clear, ash sledge buck, um, you know stuff like that. Uh, if you want to, you can take IQ. Be good as well. But. Essentially, this is the one site where you can kind of take through the front door a little bit. Uh, not very easily, but this is the only door on the entire map. Shoot it down. Shoot down all these windows. Probably have like two people up here putting pressure on. Your goal is to pinch the people in sight uh, as much as possible. So, and then have somebody uh, over here on the back window. You can see pretty deep in the site. If there's castle barricades anywhere, blow them up so that they don't have as many places to go. And if you want, you could do a full map clear or you can just take top control. Most of the time, people will not have enough reinforcements to cover this. So you can get this nice angle. Have people playing up here. Like one person on repel over here. You can repel on the compass uh, hallway windows. Repel in here. Take top control. You have access to the hatch now, which you can unbuck your sludge. You can kind of look down in the site a bit. 
Once you also have top control over here, you can get everybody out of sight by bucking above. This is why this site isn't quite as good. It's still pretty easy to defend, but it's a, it's a little bit more doable for attackers. Now for all the other sites as well, if you want, you can go beneath and buck, uh, but you'll probably be fought pretty heavily because generally people will roam like madmen. This is the easiest map to roam on in the entire game, but you can open up all, all above over here, see down, pop open mirrors, stuff like that if you get upper control. And just make your way down and just, you know, plant wherever you feel safe, really. Uh, a lot of times if you get people off of over here and you have people up front and you know there's nobody in this room, no, like, but no one's on site, basically, you can just hop in the window like this and just plant right here. It's pretty safe. And then just buck above it and play from below. I mean, play from above and just cover the bomb. So play behind, like, this table. Like, play somebody in that room and somebody over here. Place and... Play one person up top, and you should pretty much be good to go, and it'll be pretty difficult uh, for them to once... now. I mean, now you're in the defensive position on Bartlett, so you're in the position to win. So, um, I think that about covers it, though, for, uh, for the site. We'll go to the kitchen, uh, kitchen now. All right, we are headed to the final site, uh, the kitchen. So we'll take, once again, you can take... Pretty much the same operator set you just really want lots of barb clear and stuff like that that's the most important thing uh, so we got buck so we'll head over to the kitchen now uh, a good way to uh, start attacking is once again just bust out all the windows. This open. So this is this is not directly the site, but it gives you pretty good access and it's a nice cutoff point. Uh, there's another window over here. I don't even know what this room is called actually. Let's see. Let's step inside. Piano room. Okay, so piano kitchen. Basically, you want to bust out all the windows, make them feel uncomfortable. Uh, there's not going to be enough reinforcements really for them to cover everything effectively. So anything you see over here in the bathroom, uh, on this wall over here, all of this should be, o if any of this is free, you should be opening it. The floor above the kitchen is all solid, uh, like stone, I guess, or tile and cement or something. So really the only area you can like buck above is the piano, which once you have the hatch open you can pretty much see everything anyway. I mean the monster are underneath the stairs, which you can see from this angle. Um, you can you can kinda watch kitchen hall from up here. If you want you can play like a longer angle at the back. Like this and uh, like if they leave all the walls closed and you think you have a ch an opportunity to plant and they're all locked, like you have somebody at this window. All these walls are closed. You can place somebody up here. Just watch through that buck hole. Should be a pretty easy one. Get plant down. Watch it. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend going for the kitchen site as much unless you have to. Uh, if you do, probably try to make like a skylight side push and just pretty much you gotta win your gunfights. Get in here, plant the bomb. Um, I would probably try to have at least one person sitting in the skylight somewhere, like uh, up top. Or even even on top of these stairs is good, or in this in like in the bathroom. Really, any of this is fine. But you just need to have somebody kind of watching flank. Probably this bathroom would be pretty good. Uh, and yeah, just try to get bombed down and plant. You probably won't have to attack this site uh, very often, but if you do, uh, you know, this is like a pretty pretty simple way. I'd always really try to go for the piano room because you can just watch from the hatch after. But if you're taking upper control, once again, you take upper control the exact same way that you did before. Somebody on this window, somebody on the hatch, people droning, people entering behind the drone. So, um, that's about it, guys. Uh, I know this wasn't, like, the most uh, fun map, but you know, I told you guys I would do all the maps when I started the map guide, so this includes Bartlett. Uh, if you guys, if this video guys helped you at all, just, um, make sure to like and subscribe. If not, uh, no big deal. Hope it just helped you guys out.
Uh, but other than that, uh, check out, there's going to be defense guide. should be on the end screens, just hopefully around now and in the description. Spawn Peak Guide eventually should hopefully be there by the time you're watching this. And uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, check out the rest of the Map Guides channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.